Today I've got a fun cut for you guys. This one is going to be a long, long bob, like extra long. Um, it's going to be all dry cutting. So the way that we're going to start it off is I go a little bit above occipital bone, kind of straight with the jawline, and I start by cutting a blunt line. Now my blunt line is in a triangular form, so it kind of follows that uh, jawline as well. And you, so you can see a really good shot of it here. So it starts off a little shorter up by the nape in the very center, and then it gets longer towards the edge. And then what I do is I go through and I do a tease cutting technique, which is a half open, half close uh, of the scissor. I'm using the Matt Beck scissor version one. Yes, I got my own scissor uh, created by Mizutani, but it's mine. I designed the whole thing. So uh, if you guys are looking for that, I, it is for sale. It's in stock and shipping, uh, five and a half inches. Um, and it's really great for dry cutting and wet cutting. So I'm gonna show you guys the versatility of it in this cut. Everything is being overdirected straight back to the center point. So I overdirect everything straight back, I cut it, and you can see how those um, the layers get longer and longer towards behind the ear. And then I go through and I define it. So I think a lot of people worry about that outer perimeter, and I talk about this a lot, but you can't worry about the outer perimeter when you're cutting the interior part of the cut. So just focus on getting your, um, your shape right on the interior and then go out and cut that perimeter later. So when I start off the cut, I do more of a tight um, tease cutting technique. It's very small strokes with the scissor. When I go to this longer portion of the cut, I'm trying to create a little more freedom and air in the shape. So I do a, a heavier stroke or a longer stroke with the razor and I go in and still half open, half close, but you are cutting a line. So I bring everything straight back from the head. It's not going to the center back of the head. It's going straight back and I cut it and you can see that line that we're creating. It's that asymmetrical A line shape in the very front but look how long it is so this is a great haircut for that client that doesn't it's kind of afraid of change but they're looking for something new um, they can still hit a curling iron on it they could still pull it back into a ponytail if they wanted to it'd be a small one but they could um, so go through tease cutting technique over directing everything back and really making it pop also this color is part of this collection as well so if you want to see the color technique go to FSE on demand you can see the full collection uh, on there it's all put together three colors three cuts um, and they're all dry cuts so still over directing everything back and cutting with that tease cutting technique if you guys are wondering how to do the tease cutting technique, just hit the search button and type in tease cutting. Um, done many, many videos on this technique, but it's really, really simple. It's a half open, half close. So as you go into the hair, you close uh, the scissor halfway and then you bring it back out. Um, now I'm going through with a point cutting technique. This is only because when you do tease cutting, especially with a heavier stroke, you get a pretty frayed um, it's, it's like doing a super extreme point cut, right? So I go in with actual point cutting and I just clean that edge up to get a nice clean shape to the haircut. So tease cutting is like a fast way to go through and get your shape, but then point cutting kind of helps refine it a little bit. Like I said, my scissor is really, really versatile for doing dry cutting and wet cutting. That's why I wanted to put out a whole uh, dry cutting collection because you know, a lot of people are asking like, what's a good all around scissor? Well, I have definitely created that at this point. So now I'm doing slide cutting. So pretty much this entire haircut is a half open, half close. Um, I go through, I pinch the hair where I believe I want it to blend. And even this has a lot to do with the hair color because I just want to showcase some of that peach coming through. So I create some more layering to show that off. So now I hit it at the end with a wand iron facing down and I just kind of curl everything off of the face. And then I'm gonna hit it with the Joyco Beach Shake Spray, uh, which is a texture spray. So once you get those curls in the hair and you put this uh, product on it, it just brings the whole texture to life. It's also great for curly hair as well. So, but you can see how much texture gets created in that. Hope you guys like the cut. Remember, if you wanna pick up my scissor, go to freesaloneducation.com. You can check it out on there. Thank you so much for watching.